So my lab studies the genetic architecture of traits of aging in human beings. So my research focus really is to try to understand how genes and potentially the environment affect human traits, particularly those that involve the nervous system and involve eyes. The goal is to understand enough about what's going on, what's happening, to be able to prevent it or predict it and ultimately potentially develop treatments for it so we can bring it to the patients. There are a lot of people in the country that are developing Alzheimer's disease. We're trying to use our genetic understanding of Alzheimer's disease to develop targets for drug treatments ultimately and then hopefully preventions and cures. One of the things that we've been working on a lot is the age-related macular degeneration and trying to understand the genetics of that. We've actually just finished a very, very large international collaborative study of the genetics of age-related macular degeneration. And we've identified a number of different genes that are involved in a number of new targets that will allow us to move forward to identify potential treatments for that. We've identified some things that nobody knew before. There are, there are a couple of different forms of macular degeneration. We've actually, for the first time, identified something that differentiates between those two forms. So what motivates me to do my research is really just the understanding of the complexity of, of genetics. When I got started doing genetics, I thought it was going to be really, really simple. You, you know, you get one gene from mom, one gene from dad, and, and you know, what could be simpler than that? By the time I realized it was a much more complex thing, I was completely hooked on how this all worked and how the body is put together and how the genes are the blueprint for all of that.